Hey guys, what's up, Green Machine Tam back with another video, and today we have another episode of Tennessee Titans Franchise. After a very thrilling game last week in week two, in which we had to battle back and play absolutely lights out in the second half, we had a lot of stuff bounce our way, but we ended up getting the victory 37-29 to against the Philadelphia Eagles, and now we will be taking on the 2-0 Indianapolis Colts. Now, of course, last year, we went 2-0 against them, smacking them around. The year before, we split with them. And the year before that, our very first season as head coach of the Tennessee Titans, we ended up losing both games to them. So this game really will determine who could take control of this matchup over the previous four years, of course. They're looking to bounce back and have a big season as they weren't that great of a team last year. We are looking to continue our success. Now, of course, I went ahead and did practice like always, and we are losing a couple key player, well, a key player this week. We are losing Von Florence, a guy that I don't think has miss, missed much time at all, if at any, to be fair. I think the only game he might have technically missed last year might have been the game where we kind of sat him. Yeah, he played in 16 games last year, so that means he we did keep him out of that final game. And then, of course, he played 17 the year before. So he's missing his first true game that he isn't a healthy scratch for, or a game in which, you know, we didn't need him for. Which really sucks, you know, a guy that has played so long for us already in such a short career span, who has really been able to come in and step up and help us out right away. And this will also take control of the AFC South. You know, if we win this, we'll go up to 3-0. and The Jaguars will be the only other team in contention, you know, fighting us for that number one spot, if at all possible. They could also lose and we could have clear control of the AFC South early on. We do have some wrap. Regional scouting focus to take care of real quick. Um, the West, we are going to be looking at tight ends. A lot of our tight ends are getting a little bit older at this point, and I think it just makes more sense. You know, even with us bringing back Chig and us having to bring back Wiley this offseason, uh, they are on the older side, so it does make sense to go ahead and bring those guys back. I think our cornerbacks are getting a little depleted. I'm going to go ahead and set up cornerbacks for the uh, Central, Deion Sanders, going to be scouting those for us wide receivers we're going to do northeast and then of course the southeast we are going to be doing off in the tackle as we do need to fill in that position a little bit and then at the national level oh wait no we should be doing safety here i think in the west because we're doing tight ends in the national or are we doing linebackers i think we're doing tight ends in the national yeah we're doing tight ends in the national so we should be doing safety out west and we're going to be doing tight ends at the national level. So we can just get everybody scouted and we can find the best replacements for us in there. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the View Weekly Awards. Of course, Keenan McIntyre with three sacks for us. Having an incredible year so far. I don't know if he's top. Yeah, he, he is leading the league in sacks, by the way. Five sacks through two games for him. He's having a hell of a year already so far. And then I don't think we have anybody else inside the top three for any other stats no it doesn't look like it or at least none that will be showing uh here today mock draft one not as important as other mock drafts but still you can definitely take a look i wonder where it's ranking us uh just based off it should have us at wow well, it has us at 29 apparently we don't we're not good enough yet uh taking a six foot six 299 pound uh uh defensive tackle basically a three four d tackle Definitely something we could look at. Osa Digizu is definitely getting older as well. He'll probably start regressing. So will Charles and then Hugh. And so will even Jeffrey Simmons soon. So that's definitely something we could look into. Um, I'm leaning tight end or middle backer as those are probably our two two of our weaker positions in terms of overall. I think we still have good players there that can definitely you know, afford to give us a little bit of leeway. And one thing I do want to state before we get into things. Uh, yes, so Danny Brinkley, our... New rookie who was playing both backup safety spots will be playing, of course, taking over that role for Von Florence for the week. So we will be seeing a lot of him, Tajay Spears, all the way up to 94. He's going to be incredibly expensive to bring back. He has been one of the best players on our team. Quinn A are somebody that I need to start stepping up and playing even better at this point. Do we need press or do I would like to still get his press up. I'm going to go slot here. I think it just makes more sense. I, I don't mind running zone. I think he plays fine in zone. I want his press, and we still don't get it. That sucks. Mark Vickers, 
I think we're going to go... Yeah, press press is still the lowest thing on him. I'm going to go press then. Trying to get that up. I'm not going to show you guys every single upgrade. I'm just going to run through them. Keenan, Dorian Dixon, Max Thurman, Keenan Evans, uh, Trevor Clemens, Henry Langford, Mello Graham, Chris Wilkins, and Avery Harris. All guys that got upgrades because they are younger. On the younger side, they are performing as well as we got that little bit of an XP boost at the end of last week as well. So that should really help us out. But with everything being handled, we should be able to hop in the game at Nissan Stadium. We're taking on the 2-0 Indianapolis Colts. One good thing I will say as well when I was going through the practice and stuff like that is DeForest Buckner finally does not have Superstar. So we should be able to run the ball a little bit more successfully. No disrespect to Anthony Richardson, but I just don't fear him all that much. I'm definitely fearing Jonathan Taylor. Now, of course, as I say that, you know, fucking Anthony Richardson's going to throw for 300 yards or something on me. But I just don't respect him enough. He, I don't think he's ever like truly, truly beaten us. I think it's more us not being able to put, do what we needed to do. We got to shut down Jonathan Taylor. That's the biggest thing. And like I said, with the fact of the matter that is DeForest Buckner no longer having superstar, that should help us in terms of just being able to run the football against this defense. Everybody has the same opinions about DeForest Buckner when it comes to playing the Colts in Madden. DeForest Buckner is the greatest defensive tackle on the planet when you play him. Between him, if you had Kenny Clark, him, and Aaron Donald all on the same team in a franchise, I guarantee you, you would never be able to run the football or get a pass off. So, Will Levis and this offense. I think this is the first time that the offense is going to be at full strength going into this game, by the way. So, let's get things started. So far in the year, 400 yards, 3 touchdowns, 1 pick. I'll take that. 200 yards a game. 1.5 touchdowns, one and only half a pick a game. Not t completely terrible. It's definitely, you know, there's definitely room for improvement, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend like that's a bad stat line. To start off the game, we're going to run this trap play. Peter Skaronsky going to have to work his way all the way across the quitty pay and just the linebacker able to scrape there as well as the D tackle. Singing in 12 now, just not really anything going. Number 94 stepping up big. That looks like their big body guy that they're going to be focusing a lot on. Second and 12, going to roll out, play action fake, finding Chig in the flats, get him the football. He's going to get a couple yards there, seven. Who is that? Is that Matthew Judon? Matthew Judon, by the way, playing stand-up backer for this Colts team. So, there's that. Third and five, we're going to bring Brandon Austin in on this motion, and then we're going to... I think we have Melton here probably early, if not Brendan Austin. Yeah, we have Brendan Austin open, catch, run, and... I think that's Julius Brent just getting lost there, not being able to knock the ball away from Brendan Austin. Brendan Austin not off to the greatest start to his career, but first and ten, we're going to go inside zone here. Only five guys in the box. Peter Skronsky should be able to work up to backer, and that safety just good, just good tackle approach. Aloe Gilman, I think that is. Well, Gilman, I know, I know who it is. I just don't know how to pronounce his name properly. So, uh, yeah, second and four. Going to go to this quick out to Melton here. If that corner plays really far off, we should be able to have him relatively quickly. We do and just can't quite get it to him. So that's Kenny Moore playing the outside now. Third and four now. Going to look towards something quick quick here. I'm going to go this screen pass. I don't think this D tackle on the left side is particularly fast. And with DeVorce Buckner not having Superstar, we should be able to get a little bit better of an opportunity. We do. We have a really good opportunity. Spears gets all the way up to the 50 and a little bit more. Down to the 48 now into Colts territory we go. 15-yard reception there for him. With another inside zone, keeping the tight end in this time. All he has to do is block that backside of Pay. Don't let him get through right away. First and 10. Inside zone up to backer. And Spears able to pick up a good yards there. Eight going for him. 40. Up to the 40 now. I'm going to go PAFL stretch here. If this works, Tyler Linton could have a big, 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 big play here. I'm going to keep Josh Oliver in on that backside. Slide the line right to protect against Matthew Judon. Going to snap the football. Dropping back to pass. Trying to find something. Josh Wiley open. Catch. Hold on to the football. What a big boy throw and what a big boy catch there from Will Levis and Josh Wiley. I'm going to go slot. No, I picked the wrong play. Okay. Uh, we will go... We're just going to keep this, actually. I think we're in a good look here. Six on six here in the box. I know they had that other backer over there, but I think we're in a good situation here. Handoff, Spears, and Nicobe. I think that's Nicobe Dean. 
now with the Colts. Yes, Nicobe Dean now with the Colts making the tackle there. I'm going to go to formations here. I do want to start using these this packages more. I could definitely go through and just change some of these, you know, real quick. And then, you know, of, of course, Haskins would be in more frequently. Like, we can easily do that. Push halfback, you know, sub in. Second and seven now. We're going to go inside. Just going to run right into this gap. I think if that safety comes down too hard, we should have a pretty open lane. He, he does. Haskins, big gain there. All the way down to the seven, ten yard rush. Gonna go back to the line here. Gonna immediately go, go to a halfback stretch. I'm gonna run it to the strong side here. Decent blocking, just not quite enough. Haskins still gets two there, but just not enough blocking there to really get us going. It's gonna be a little bit of misdirection. I don't know why. What the fuck are we doing? Second and goal. Halfback misdirection here. Meets Matthew Judon, and Matthew Judon wins that rep. Down to the two, though, we go third and goal. Got to look for something here that will really get us off to a decent start. We need a score here. I'm going to go just power O, goal line, goal line power O. Dorian Dixon coming around should be able to give us that little bit of a boost with that superstar ability. Snap the football downhill. Haskins into the end zone. Touchdown. Kobe Dean couldn't fight off Titus Horton enough. And Hassan Haskins just downhill into the end zone. Nothing really going there for the Colts on that kick return, only out to the 19. Of course, we will see Nicholas petit fier our former right tackle, now the start, starting right tackle for the Indianapolis Colts. So big storyline. Can he protect against Derek Wesley, our main edge rusher from last year? Not having as great of a season, but still a very good season so far for him. You know, a very good career for him just in general. And there's Jeffrey Simmons immediately making his presence felt. Beating that right guard. That right guard had no fucking hope there. Second and 14 now. By the way, Jelani Woods has superstar now as well. So that's not going to be fun. And that's under thrown. And Josh Downs comes back to it. And Mark Vickers doesn't. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure Jeffrey Simmons made the play there. Forcing pressure onto Anthony Richardson and Mark Vickers doesn't come back to the football. And we just get beat there. First and 10. Handoff here to Jonathan Taylor. And there's Jeffrey Simmons again making a big play. Second and 12 now. Jeffrey Simmons has played very, very good this season, by the way. Unlike last year. Last year, for some reason, his superstar ability just never felt like it was triggering enough. And now this year, it seems like it's triggering every time we can. Every time it can. Quinn Ayers, nothing to really do there. Tyler Lockett just not hold on to that football. Felt, heard the footsteps of Quinn Ayers coming down on him, and he decided that he wanted no fucking smoke. Third and 12. Going to hop on to Shire, cover Jelani Woods, and there's a legal contact. So this pick's not even going to matter. I almost want to just, like... Oh, 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 no, that's not good. That's not what I meant to do. Fuck me. Well, I don't think they're going to be accepting that penalty now. Oops, fuck me. <laughs> I thought there was somebody behind me. That's my bad. Uh, <laughs> oops. First and goal then. Uh, defense made the play, but then also gave it back. I thought there was somebody still behind me, so. First and goal. Play action fake. Looking, and there's Derek Wesley with a free rush. Second and goal. Pushing him all the way back to the 10 there. Going to go zone coverage here. I'm going to bring Brinkley down, and that's going to be the end of the quarter, though. So, not really getting anything going here uh, in terms of defense. Made the play, technically made the play. I, In my opinion, that wouldn't have been re illegal contact in real life, but unfortunately in Madden's universe, it, it's going to be. Un unfortunately, to be fair. Second and goal. You're going to hand the ball off to Taylor, and there goes Taylor all the way. Good block there from the receiver. Jonathan Taylor all the way into the end zone touchdown. The kicker just stopped Tyler Linton from getting a kickoff return touchdown, by the way. We had everybody basically beat, and the kicker barely just reached out and slowed Linton down just enough to let their corner come in and tackle us. That is tragic. First and 10 after that big mistake by us. Going to go to the air here. Bo Melton. Can't quite get the football out. He just got out of that break so slow. And Brennan Austin just nowhere to be found. Not even really getting off the line there. 
Just my main two options that I looked at, just nowhere to be found. Second and 10 now. Back to pass again. I like Wiley underneath, but he stops. Why the fuck would he stop in that situation? It is zone coverage. They're, they are sitting there underneath. Why the fuck would they stop there? Third and seven. If nobody backs off, if this linebacker doesn't back immediately, I'm hitting Wiley. He does. He backs immediately, so nothing really open. Bo Melton there. Big catch there in between coverage. I think that's Isaiah Rogers last time we played him. Number 30, I think, was Isaiah Rogers, so looks to be the same player. First and 10. Going to send Spears back out to this left side. Expecting them to drop again. Yeah, going to hit Spears. They play really far off. And Spears with two big misses. Again, eight yards there for him. I do want to get Haskins involved plenty as well, so we'll try to look towards that as well. Going to go slot trail here. Like I said, a play that's worked a lot for us throughout our career. Slot trail here, second and two. Bring Brandon Austin down. He's going to come across. Bo Melton on that Texas route, holds on to the football, gets a good chunk of yards. Up to the 35 we go now. Eight for 10 for Will Levis, two for 19 for Bo Melton. Like I said, he doesn't always have to have the biggest games, but he is a very clutch player for us. First and 10, dropping back to pass, trying to find something. Nothing really open. Going to take off and run with Will Levis, getting nine. Down to the 25 we go. Going to go to another one of our favorite plays. Second and one, we're going to bring Bo Melton in motion. Play action fake, looking, trying to find something. And there's Brendan Austin, and that might be his first touchdown of his career. I don't quite remember if it is, but if it is, big one here. Going up 14-7 here in the second quarter. I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but looking at Brandon Austin, I don't know why, but I get a Troy Franklin feeling the new uh, Denver Broncos receiver. Just tall, lanky, kind of fast, but not a whole ton of body size there. First and 10 here. Going to hop on to Shire. We're sending extra pressure. Get home. Nicholas petit Fier is kind of blocking too, and there's Derek Wesley with kind of a free rush. Nicholas Petitfier tried to do as much as he can. I don't think that's really against him there. And now that we have that X Factor, now that we have him behind the chains, we're going to drop into man coverage, force them to beat us, hop on to Shire here. There's Quentin Ayers and Anthony Richardson nowhere to be found there. Trying to hit Tyler Lockett on that curl and just nothing going. Third and 19 here. I'm going to play everybody back a little bit. Going to cover these receivers. It's a screen pass. Evans needs to get there on downs, and he does. Allowing 13, but still 4th and 6. they got to put the football away now, unfortunately. So, Anthony Richardson taking a sack there. And then, of course, missing Tyler Lockett. Not off to a great start. It, besides that, you know, stupid play that we decided to make. I think we're in a very good situation so far today. And I'm not really scared by this Colts offense currently at the moment. I just couldn't decide where I wanted to go with Tyler Linton there, unfortunately. Not being able to get too much. I think they played it correctly, though. I don't think we were going to be able to get much to begin with. I'm going to go flanker drive here. I'm looking Austin to Wiley to Melton probably. And possibly to Spears, of course. Austin coming on that late release. But I like Wiley's opportunity and just doesn't even go for the football. Trying to tell him to aggressive catch. And just nothing going, unfortunately. We're going to PA sale post. And have Wiley leak out to the flats. Second and 10. Play action fake looking. I think I emote Melton and just, again, just doesn't reach out for the football. Perfect accuracy. How is it perfect accuracy, Madden? If it's perfect fucking accuracy, how is it not hitting the receiver in the fucking chest, basically? Make it make sense. Make it make fucking sense. Third and ten. Going to bring Austin down in motion. He's going to run that out route. I think I emote Melton on this corner. I think I do. Big catch here for Melton, and he's going to get tackled immediately, but still first and 10 all the way down to the 31-yard line. Could have maybe had Clemens going deep on that court, on that post route, but I just wanted to play it safe, pick up the first down, keep the chains moving, of course, and send Wiley out to the flats here. One of the better options we've had. I like whoever Square is. I think that's Linton, and he holds on. Kind of floated more than I wanted it to. First and 10, but Linton, I think with his first catch on the day, big catch there, bench. Linton's going to be that red hot route. Going to keep Spears in here. I think these corners should get somewhat open. I'm not really seeing a whole ton here. We're going to take off and run with Will Levis, trying to get some blockers in front of us. Will Levis is just going to step out of bounds. Julius Brent's there as well as, I think, Matthew Judon and somebody else. 
Probably a uh, auto-generated player. I'm going to go with this jailbreak screen on second and two here. Down near the goal line. If they might come or be aggressive here, we could have an opportunity. Get the ball to Bo Melton. Dorian Dixon on Kenny Moore. And Kenny Moore somehow survives that hit. Bo Melton still being a very good player. Getting down to the five-yard line there. Making a good spin off that tackle. First and goal. They have nobody in here, by the way. Six guys in the box. You could technically count seven. Okay, two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Didn't realize the clock was ticking down that low. 14-7 to seven here, though. Very good, very, very good start. And then, for some reason, it's just like, oh, hey, you know how it, it was just the two-minute quarter? Yeah, we're going to fucking now take you off, basically. I'm just going to go back to regular. If this had a read option, I would consider bringing in Malik Willis and letting the read option play out. Six guys in the box again. I think Tyler Linton, as long as he gets hands on backer, I think we should be fine. First and goal, Spears downhill, and Gilman just kind of shoots the gap, comes right away. Second and goal now. Down to the two we go, though. With Kenny Moore playing so far out, I don't think we can hit Wiley, but maybe we can hit Austin right away. Yeah, throw that football and just... Linton just doesn't go out and help out on the two on the Kobe Dean. Like, go out there and help out. Don't fucking come back inside. I don't need the inside guys. The reason why I'm throwing it out there so fast is because there it's three on two. It's two on two basically in terms of blockers. Anyway, go get somebody. I'm gonna keep Wiley in here. We're gonna send Linton back across. We're only gonna run two man routes here. I threw to the wrong guy. <laughs> I, I completely got my circle and square messed up, mi mixed up. For some reason, I thought they were each other and just didn't go our way. I don't love the look that we're in right now. I definitely want to go for it. I just don't love the look we're in. Going to go halfback stretch with a sixth off the lineman. Max Thurman will come in. Going to go fourth and goal here. Immediately snap the football. Spears. And just they stretched it out just so well. And then the linebacker scraping across. Just not quite getting what we were looking for. Kenny Young coming up with the tackle. Down to the three, though, we could definitely have a good defensive stand here and get the ball back in relatively good field position here. Going to have the corners play down. We're going to hop on to Shair here, play this backside help. Quentin Nelson getting up to us. We're going to need McIntyre to make a play there. A six-yard rush from Jonathan Taylor, one of his only good rushes so far today. Minute left on the clock. Now they're going to call a timeout after a two-second runoff. We're going to send some extra pressure here. We're going to have to tell them to come out and beat us here. We're going to bring Danny Brinkley down onto Jelani Woods. We're going to bring Brandon Davidson down. Help out. He's going to have to make a play on jo Jonathan Taylor, and he doesn't. <sighs> Second and four. Second and four, and we had it. First and ten now. We're going to send this extra pressure again. Hop onto Brandon Davidson if we can get there. No. Danny Brinkley's going to have to come down and make a play. He does. Second and eight now. Colts going back to the line again. We're going to bring Danny Brinkley down to the box if... Jonathan Taylor doesn't go out. We're going to bring him down and immediately come after. They're just... Okay, I, I think they decided that they're going to run the clock out now. I think they kind of decided that. Un, un, uh, you know, smart move by them, I guess. I, I guess they didn't think that they had anything. They're going to snap the ball now. Caleb Farley with a pick. And with nobody in front of him, this could be a big opportunity. But Jonathan Taylor makes a very good hit there on Caleb Farley. Caleb Farley technically with two picks. I don't, since they did decline the penalty, does that mean Caleb Farley does have two picks on the game? I would assume so, right? So, big play there for Caleb Farley. But at the end of half, 14-7, not being able to score down on the two-yard line. And then, of course, them having some decent plays there to get away from the goal line. Emmanuel Brooks getting down there and absolutely destroying that kick returner. First and 10. Colts offense going to have to come out and make some plays here. I'm... And, you know, the talking point is, you know, they didn't really make a whole ton of plays. It was just our stupid play, you know. We were trying to make something out of nothing on a play that should have that we should have just ran the ball out of bounds on. And they am able to make a play on it. Just unfortunate. Second and eight now. Going to send this extra pressure again. I believe in our corners. I believe in our defensive backs to go out make the plays that need to be made. Anthony Richardson scrambling. Brand Davidson coming down. And Anthony Richardson going to uh, slide down for three. Third and five now. Probably should have been playing that a little bit more aggressive with the safety there. Hopping on Shair, going to cover Jelani Woods right away and then look towards Jonathan Taylor. No, they're slanting Tyler Lockett, not having a good day. Two drops on the day for him, by the way. 
Definitely feel like I should probably turn up wide receiver catching at this point. We'll start off with very good field position all the way up to the 42-yard line, and we'll get going almost immediately. We're going to go to wheel post drag. It should get Linton in a good opportunity, but them running zone kind of hinders that a little bit. I'm going to send Spears just out on a little bubble route out to the outside. First and 10. Looking chig, not really open. I think Linton has an opportunity here. Nope, it's floated too much, and the corner's going to be able to make a play and knock it away. Yep. I, I, th I thought if we could have gotten that, maybe a little bit let out a little bit more. Uh, Linton would have had a better opportunity to run underneath of it and really have an opportunity. If they send this double pressure, I think Melton will have this uh, post pretty open. Same and 10. No, they drop in the zone. Fuck, I had I had Brendan Austin. I had Linton, but I was just too scared to throw it. Brendan Austin there, though. Coming back to the football. Big catch for him. 4 for 42. I think his biggest day so far, especially with that touchdown as well. 30 inches. We're gonna actually going to run back to the other side here. I think that safety on the other side just makes more sense to run towards him. You check if he can get there. He does. Linton. I, I thought Linton was getting beat by Rodgers so much that I wanted to juke back inside and just... Nothing going there. Guy scraping across, able to make up with come up come up with the play there. First and ten. And drop back to pass, looking for these some of these shallow, more shallow routes, and not been able to get the ball there to Josh Wiley there. Second and ten now. Some inaccuracy here from Will Levis early. Not off to a great, great start from him. Gonna go curls here. I think if it's man, I think I got Linton immediately against Kenny Moore. No, it's zone again. Going to dump off to Wiley. Only a couple, only a yard there. Going to go PA slide here. I like Melton and I like Wiley here. And there's Matthew Dudon. There's Matthew Dudon. I thought he was going to show up eventually, and he does. Beats Tyus Horton to the inside and able to win. At least I think he beat him to the inside. All the way up at the 48, though, does make it kind of difficult to punt. Um, just with how close we are. We're not going to get a whole ton of yards back in return. But, gotta do it anyway. Too long to kick a field goal and too long to go for it. Pretty bad punt overall and then a penalty. Just stupid mistakes here. First and ten. Only being up seven though. It feels like we've dominated this game, but only being up seven is kind of weird. Shair able to make the tackle there on to Jonathan Taylor. Second and six now. Shutting him down like we said we were going to was the major factor. Saw blitz here. We're going to send more pressure here. Five on five at minimum. Second and six now. There you have a three tight end look, and they're going to run the football, and there's Taylor again getting the first down, 7 for 24, finally getting going back above a three-yard average for Jonathan Taylor. Cover one robber here. We go man coverage, like I said, again, going to bring Brandon Davidson down into the box, force this uh, secondary to really win their reps, and Quentin Nelson just putting the clamps on Osa Digizua, and there's Shair and Evans having to make this tap on Jonathan Taylor. Such a good running back, able to break one tackle, but Evans just... Coming back in just just in time to make that play there. Where's Mark Vickers at? I need him down on this line because he's bringing that extra pressure. And Caleb Farley just gets burned by Josh Downs, by the way. Just completely burned. Amanda Man, 94 overall corner, just got burned by at most a mid-80s receiver. So, crazy. First and 10, though. Going to hop on to Jeffrey Simmons. Gets stuck on him, actually. And there's Josh Downs again, just beating everybody, up, apparently. Just the greatest receiver to ever touch this earth, apparently. First and ten. Going to run man still. I, I'm, I, I got to trust my defense backs. We, we developed them in man coverage for a fucking reason. We got to trust them at this point. There's no reason not to. Osa trying to win his rep against Quentin Nelson. And there's Josh Downs. It, there's a penalty. I think it's a late hit on Jeffrey Simmons, by the way. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately... There's, there's no way it's on Mark Vickers, right? Yeah, it's roughing the passer on. It's what? What the fuck do you mean unnecessary roughness? They're counting this as a touchdown, by the way. They're counting this as a touchdown. And because he technically, I guess, because. What the fuck are they calling unnecessary roughness for? First and ten, we got to go down and put together a real scoring drive here. Bo Melton, just, and accuracy still. I, I don't know how he's missing. Good accuracy. No, the fuck it's not. What the fuck are you smoking? It's not good accuracy if he's not hitting him. 
Second and ten here. Screen pass. Just going to dump off to Tajay Spears. Get the blockers out in front. Gilman trying to make a play. Judon comes back to make that play first and ten now, though. Going to go RPO zone peak. They're going to bring the safety and the linebacker down. Should be two on two here. Going to throw the ball out to the outside and just no block in there from Josh Wiley. But Brendan Davidson trying to make up for it. Nine yard catch and run there. Breaking two tackles. Imagine if he had those two broken tackles after two good blocks. Crazy, huh? Second and one, though. Brandon Austin in motion, bringing him down. I like Brendan here. Throw it. Gets the first. Gets a little bit more as well. First and ten. Going to bring... Going to go deep fork here. Bring him down again. He's going to run that out route, but then this post-corner combo should have somebody open. I like Brandon Austin again. Probably would have had Bo Melton a little bit later, but... I just liked Brennan Austin there. We're going to go we're gonna go inside zone here real fast. Nope. Nope, we do. We get it called, but for some reason we're putting a receiver on Quiddy Pay instead of Lindsey Goodwill, and the guard in the center are nowhere to be found. They're just like running around the field. we go Curls dig here on third and six. If I don't think the Curls are open, we'll have Spears on this out. I like Wiley here, and he holds on to the football. Pretty surprising there that it was even on target, to be fair, so... Going to go slot drive here. Bo Milton early and then Spears late. Brandon Austin as well as Josh Wiley have an opportunity. I like Brandon Austin on this comeback and he has it open. Kenny Moore in fucking hell right now with these speed guys. 8 for 77 by the way for Brandon Austin. Lots of catches for him. First and 10 going to go inside zone here. Back to this left side. They're playing over on that right side a little bit more aggressively. Going to go first and 10. Ha hand it off. Spears, Linton, good block there. Spears has a chance, and he's in. Touchdown, Tajay Spears. Getting his first score of the day. Colts offense coming back out. I need to stop Josh Downs at this point. Josh Downs is the main guy that we got to stop. Which is weird, because in the first half, we had, you know, stop the run as the main option, and then we went to short passes, and now Josh Downs exploding. And there's an open receiver and just can't quite get there. I was so focused on Josh Downs, I kind of left my zone, but... If we can slow down Josh Downs, I think I don't think he has a whole ton of other options here. Jelani Woods just might be a good, you know, sim guy for the most part. Gonna hop on to Shire, probably cover up Jonathan Taylor with Shire in this man coverage. And there's Jeffrey Simmons immediately beating Quentin Nelson. I don't know how he beat him so fast, but he did. Third and sixteen though. Gonna spread the oh, the D line. Actually send Osa to get double teamed. I want him to get. Double teamed, but they move. And there's Jelani Woods, unfortunately. Trying to send Osa Odigizuba over so that he would be the double team guy. Bring Evans into man coverage. And there's Tyler Lockett finally on his first catch. Or I would assume, I think. I think he's had only one catch. He dropped two of them. Second and six now. We go zone coverage here. They're beating us in man a little bit. We're going to hop into this zone. Not as good of a zone coverage team, but got to play here. There's Jelani Woods and Vickers, big tackle there. You know, almost eight inches in height difference. And he comes up with a big tackle, getting his head across, bring him down, wrapping up and rolling. Third and four, going to hop on Shire, try to cover, help cover. Evans, nowhere to be found, but Jelani Woods can't reach for it. Fourth and four now. With five minutes, I would almost say you go for this, especially at midfield. You know, you're in a weird situation where you're like almost too close to punt, but not close enough to go go for it. I would almost go for it just to see what you have. Yeah, because you just boomed it through the end zone. So congratulations. I'm out to the 20. You only got 30 yards out of that. I would have went for it personally. First and 10, play action fake, dropping back to pass, trying to find something. Tyler Linton open, and Will Levis just sailing the football apparently. I tried to, I, I literally, like, don't get me wrong. I definitely said throw it like up and lead him up the field but it was mainly because i was like oh if i don't throw it up this corner is going to pick it linton immediately open catch run big first down there first and 10 22 for 31 for will levis on the day gonna go outside zone here gonna hand off to spears get to the outside he does and just brennan austin just not fast enough to get up to that safety you need to run a little bit faster big dog i know you were just coming off a block but if you come off a block, look for the next guy. Get up to the next level. Let's go. First and 10, inside zone, downhill. We go. 
Use check gets that backside backer. Eight yards there for Tajay Spears. PA slot and go. I like Brandon Austin and I like Wiley here, of course. Same in two. Man coverage. If we lob it perfectly, it should be a decent catch for Austin and he does on the sideline. Brandon Austin with a big fucking play there. Good throw there from Will Levis. Not quite exactly where I wanted it, but good enough to get the completion and the first down. Unfortunately, clock does stop, though. I like this PA Jet sweet play. And if we can put up a second score, I think we'll be in a very good situation here. First and 10. Going to bring Melton in motion. They have two backers down inside the gap. They don't bring them, but they get. But Quiddy Pay gets a free release, basically. And Linton, wide open. Touchdown, Tyler Linton. Everybody get involved today. First and 10, and this Colts offense has to get something going. Like I said, Josh Downs, one of their only guys. Five receptions, 100 yards. That's basically all of Anthony Richardson's yards, by the way. So, just goes to show. First and 10. Going to drop back to pass, of course. Looking for something here. Trying to find Jonathan Taylor in that flat. He does. Gets eight out of him on that little bubble route. So, we're going to have to shut that, down, shut that shit down immediately. We can't let that running back get going. If he gets going... It's going to be even harder once he gets that X factor. Second and two now. 316 remaining. They definitely could run the football if they need to. Not the smartest move. Quentin Ayers there making a big play on Josh Downs, knocking the ball out. Stand over top of him too. Fucking taunt his ass if you need to. I'm willing to give up the 15-yard penalty to fucking make him think that you're coming at him all fucking game. Evans trying to make the play on Jonathan Taylor. And it's just... a. You can't be solo here. You got to slow him down. Kind of force him to the sidelines, if anything. Like, yeah, let him stop the clock, but don't let him get that first down and break tackles and build momentum here. And there is Jelani Woods' coverage by Shire, just not quite capable enough. Going to bring Davidson down. We're actually going to try to cover up Jelani Woods a little bit, and they get bumped together, number 12 and Jelani Woods. I don't remember who 12 is. Third and three, though. Going to send extra pressure here. Extra, extra pressure here. Going to send six guys. Going to start with Evans on the inside above this guard. And we're going to loop towards the center. Potentially no. And Jelani Woods is not being covered. Are we saying Quentin Ayers can't get there? Quentin Ayers, by the way, 94 speed. Can't catch up to a tight end. So we'll have the ball at the 25-yard line. Just two kind of bogus scores that they got from all Madden. First and 10. Going to try to cl clock a lot of this. Get rid of a lot of this clock. But... Going to start the drive off with a big catch there from Tyler Linton. What a big catch on that out route. 25 for 34, by the way, for Will Levis. Very good game from him. On the right track. Four for 61 for Ty Tyler Linton here. Going to look towards Wiley here. Yeah, I got Wiley. I got Wiley, and he can't get his feet down. Fuck me. Good accuracy. Yeah, it was, it was actually good accuracy at that time. Just not good enough to... It was thrown late. I, I'm going to be real. It was thrown late. That's more the reason than anything why Josh Wiley couldn't get there. Second and 10, handoff Spears. Big gain there, and he's getting nine, almost 10, third and inches now. 12 for 71 on the day for him. 104 yards rushing total for the offense. Two minute warning here. In the fourth, we got to fucking secure this win. We got to just kind of grind this clock away, if anything. We go inside zone, six on six here. I think we should be able to win this. I'm going to send Wiley back the other way. Brings the corner down, but I think I like him more. Matthew Judon trying to lead the way. Double team with Horton. Nat picks up the first. That's all we needed. So not too not too shabby, not too shabby. Going to go Haskins here. Going to go with this counter play. Dorian Dixon coming across, probably opening up this play on this edge. Kyle Ushek's going to have to be that lead blocker. Kyle Juszczyk actually had a pretty good block. It's just, you know, they're all playing downhill. This defense is guessing run, basically, at this point. So, can't blame him too much. Sam and Six going to bring Wiley across. Does bring the corner, but corner could almost just get muddied up with everybody else. Two-yard rush there from, you know, Mountain Zone Week out of a different formation here. Third and four. Going to bring Chig across. Does push the D-line over. Just trying to find a hole, Haskins. Downhill. And Judon able to make a very good play there. Just kind of coming down right away. Going to be able to click off about 30 seconds here. We do have a 58-yard field goal chance here if we really want to take it. I just don't know if Josh Wolf can, Trey Wolf can hit it. I think the wind's pushing just enough that we should be able to get it. So now we just got to wait for the clock to drain down. I shanked the kick. I shanked the fucking kick. 
First and 10, and they have good field position. Going to bring Evans down. Man coverage across the board. Five-man pressure here. And Brandon Davidson just lost a stuff. Yep, missing Von Florence on that back end right about now. Brandon Davidson just gets burned and then just stops running, apparently. Cool. Just based off of how Tyler Linton caught that, I knew I, I shouldn't have ran it out, and I did it anyway, and it didn't fucking work. So, uh, fucking, yeah, just awesome. First and ten. Gonna send Spears the other side. Gonna have him run a wheel right behind Brennan Austin. It's, man, it should get open relatively easy. There's Linton, big catch. Gotta go, gotta call a timeout here, unfortunately. I'm almost wondering if we run our play. The play that we're probably known for at this point in the league. Gonna go PA slot and go. It's our only real opportunity. Check it down if I need to to Wiley, by the way. Second and two. Play action fake, looking. I'm gonna trust Bo Melton. I'm gonna trust Bo Melton and Will Levis can't deliver. We had the fucking play, too. We had the fucking play. Bo Melton beat his guy. We had the fucking play. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to fucking overtime right now. I'm not fucking doing it. Third and two. Run this screen pass. If it doesn't work, whatever. Hit Bo Melton. Good block there. And there's a fucking flag now, and it's probably a fucking hold. And let me guess, because Madden's stupid, it's not going to give me the first. I'm almost wondering if we keep Brennan Austin on like a curl. Try to beat. I'm going to send Tajay Spears on a comeback. See if we can win something here. Tyler Linton across the middle. Catch, run. If he can get out of bounds, we have a good opportunity. First and ten there. Good fucking shit, Tyler Linton. Showing up on the biggest stages like always. Need Bo Melton to do something here as well. Going to have Wiley run a curl and Bo Melton run a slant. Gets, just get stuff coming across the field. Have Spears running out. I'm looking Linton here on this corner. If we have him. Linton and just a bad fucking ball. I know it would have been a pretty difficult catch as well. But still, 10 and 10. Melton run a slant. Get across this field. And Brennan Austin. I'm just going to have him run a drag here. I think Linton 101 here. If this is man, I think I, 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 think I like Linton's chances here. 2nd and 10. Linton. Go up and get it. He caught it. What a fucking play. Bo Tyler fucking Linton. All day, every day. Remember the fucking name. Trey Wolf knocks it through. Jesus Christ. So bad at field goals right now. I don't know why. Because Madden's too stupid and doesn't recognize the 25-yard line rule. So they're going to auto-return this. So it's going to waste a couple seconds. As well as the... Yeah, and just a big hit there from Emmanuel Brooks. 15-yard line. I don't really want to run zone. I just more want the formation than anything else. Going to keep him on a spy. I'm going to hop on to Wesley here. Try to get something going. Somebody get free. Send him. Second and ten. Eight seconds. They would have to get a shit ton of yards as well as get out of bounds. Their goal target is the 36-yard line. I don't even know if you could get there in eight seconds, by the way. Second and ten. McIntyre. Jeffrey Simmons. And it's knocked away. Four seconds, third and ten. This is it. You go cover one contain. Four rushers here. If we can get pressure immediately, we could definitely have a good chance at just shutting this shit down. Immediately, Jeffrey Simmons gets through. And that's a sack and a safety. Jeffrey Simmons just put the game away. Let's fucking go. The defensive line steps up. God, I made so many fucking mistakes this game. Play calling and coaching at just... All-time bads, you know, Quentin Ayer's play was definitely bad, but play calling and coaching was just an, at an all-time low today. Brandon Davidson, Jesus Christ, dude. Tyler Linton with a big game. Bo Melton, just fucking crazy. Will Levis having a very, very good game as well. Awesome, awesome game. When you need your superstars the most, they need to be able to step up, and that's what happened to fucking day. Tyler Linton and Jeffrey Simmons stepped the fuck up. So did Caleb Farley, so did Derek Wesley, so did Tajay Spears. They all fucking stepped up when they needed to. A lot of bad uh, coaching decisions on our part. And that will have to be addressed going into the next week. We are taking the on 
the Jacksonville Jaguars on a three-game home stretch. So we just finished up with the Indianapolis Colts going 3-0. We'll go ahead and sim to the next week just to see where we're at and where the Jags are at. Going into week four, of course. They're 2-1, and one, so we do have control of the AFC South. A win here gets us three divisional wins in the first four weeks and sets us apart. And, of course, we play the Jaguars in week six, so we're playing them almost in back-to-back weeks. We do have to take them on, take on the Green Bay Packers next week. We have a QB1 check-in to take care of, of course, weekly strategy, upgrade players, and a couple other things to take care of. Players ready to negotiate. This is going to be one of the biggest storylines is Tajay Spears, Will Levis, Osa Digizua, Josh Wiley, Josh Thompson, Aziz Alshair, Charles Amenehue, Yatir, AJ Jackson, Josh Oliver, Taylor Lewan, Kyle Juszczyk, and then, of course, Von Florence and Quentin Ayers have their fifth-year options coming up. If Von Florence stays under $10 million, I'm definitely accepting that, by the way. Uh, he's been the definition of reliable. Quentin Ayers, as long as his stay is below 20 I think it's probably financially sound to accept his deal, push their negotiations back a year. Josh Wiley, like I said, I would love to keep him. He'd probably be a guy that would have to hit free agency, kind of like even Chig. You know, him going to be 27 going into next year just hasn't quite developed as much as we had hoped. You know, he he definitely plays above his overall, but just not where we need him at this point. Will Levis, fucking incredible. We're going to have to re-sign him. And then, of course, Tajay Spears as well. They're going to be fucking huge contracts. Together, I'm looking probably almost at $200 million between the two of them. So, it's going to be crazy. And then, what do we do with Shair and so on and so forth, but... If you guys enjoy this content or the content here on my channel, I would appreciate it if you guys do stick around and subscribe. I'll be back with more videos like this. With that being said, I'm out. Peace.